Okay, this is for the Angus job, number 52931. It is a basement finish. Um, okay, here's the furnace. Yada yada. Um, we're gonna put in a new filter box, a 20 by 25 filter box. And so we're gonna need to raise this furnace up and put it on a six inch base. Also, the furnace is gonna move forward. I marked on the ground, the back of the furnace, but it's gonna be 18 inches from the back wall to the back of the furnace. Um, I also marked the front of the furnace there. Okay, we did that so we can get a um, damper back here and move this heat run back. So the heat run on top of the um, plenum just needs to be moved back towards the wall. Then we'll get um, a damper in right there for the back side. Um, the cut line on the front here. Um, but a damper will also go on the front and it, this one will come out the side so adjust the line set as needed to get the motor out the side. This back one the motor will come out the bottom and uh, that way we'll move this furnace forward and be able to walk back here and have access to this damper. Okay. So these flues, it's gonna have to couple, couple them. Gave you four couplings and 20 feet of pipe. Um, if you notice down here, it's been leaking. So clean that up and find out how, um, why it's been leaking, but you know, try to re-glue it or, or do what you can and to seal that. Okay, so, um, up the front of the furnace, we have a duct coming off for the basement zone. Okay, it's a two zone system. So basement zone will be coming off and offset up. It'll have a 90 and then uh, put the damper on the 12 inch side of that 90 with the motor coming out the side. Um, the homeowner's gonna build a wall right here. But um, anyway, that's gonna come out. Then, so the 90. And then you have a piece of duct and then an offset jumping up 10 inches. So now we're gonna be tight to the ceiling. Um, notice the combustion air right here. So um, you may have to scoot this over this way and maybe in here a little bit, depending on, on what that offset does. Um, I told him we wouldn't cover it, but our duct's gonna be, you know, right here. So you do have room next to it. Anyway, um, so the duct's gonna come out, go out here towards the wall, um, and you're gonna have a T, 20 by eight to 14 by eight and 16 by eight. Okay, on this side, you're just gonna um, cut and header this and go through three, pieces of duct, a reducer, and the rest to the wall. On this side, just going to go um, 8 by 14, two pieces I think, and uh, then you can have a squared around. So notice all this plumbing is right above the duct. So I give you three 8 inch 90s, but squared around and then um, hop up in however you can um, 
and then I gave you a, a 866Y. So one um, six inch centered in this basement window here. Then um, you have a heat vent here, so you're gonna have to 90, 90 or 45, 45. And then uh, another six inch and boot over that window. Okay, in here, if you notice uh, this panning right here, he's gonna build his wall here, straight across all the way. So, gonna take that header out and bring the panning, increase the panning this way, and then add the header over here, and then just cut out the top of the, his wall into our panning and then put a uh, 14 by 8 low return for this room here. Okay. Over here, the plans have changed a little bit from when Jamie was here. So go off my plans and not his drawing. But over here, we're going to... Um, Add a return air box. Ugh. Sorry. So, return air box here in the hallway to pick up a return in these this joy space. Um, and we're going to add a 14 by 8 low return air for the playroom there. Okay, and let's see what one. Okay, he's also gonna build a wall for a closet, he thinks, in the future. Somewhere right here, he's gonna build a closet. So Jamie wanted another return air in here for some reason. Um, if they decide to separate these two rooms. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna um, take out a header and pan over and uh, put another header in and then cut out the top of the wall, put a 14 by eight low um, into this room for when they separate it. Okay. Um, Okay, so on the return air, notice the cut line here, here, and on the back, um, well, let's go to the back. Okay, on the back, we have a, behind the return air, we have a 30 by 8 grill that's going to go low. To get it there, this duct is going to be gone, removing all this and making it different. But um, but you're gonna have a a tap in up here, 18 inches long, into this duct. So you're gonna take these two joists and um, we'll be able to walk under it and get to behind the furnace to access that damper. Okay. Um, let's see. <coughs> Let's see, one, two, okay. So this is the bathroom. Um, we'll put a, a heat vent just um, next to this panning in this run, just over the toilet vanity area here. Um, we're gonna put a exhaust, bathroom exhaust, and just go out the back with it to a uh, four inch termination out there. Okay. Okay, in this room back here on the right of the stairs, he changed it from the plan. So now we are going to add a the four by twelve by seven boot that was originally going to go on the other side. That way um, is going to now go here. So we're just going to put it right here. Um, and that way you can get over the stairs. 
Okay, on this return air right here, we are going to add a 14 by eight baseboard grill low. So we're gonna pan down the wall. Sorry, we're not gonna pan down the wall. They're gonna sheetrock the wall. But I made you a little two and a half inch fitting right here. You're gonna cut out the back side of this duct and just um, tap into this wall. Okay. All right. Um, so over here, we have our duct trunk line going to the end. We're gonna add a four by 12 heat bend at the bottom. So I gave you a little um, sleeves of duct, little starting collars to get those. So you have one centered in this window, centered in that window, and just a seven inch top take off to an end boot here. Okay, so um, the drain just put in a, a P-trap and just drain to the floor. Um, let's see, the gap on the gas, we're just going to extend this out and then uh, rehook up this flex. I think that's, oh yeah. So the thermostat, he just wants on this wall, right on the right of the furnace in this area somewhere. And uh, just a basic Honeywell thermostat's fine. Jamie has that and the zone panel in his office. So make sure they did get pulled. If not, he does have them. Okay, I think that's about it. Thanks.